that's what you hold on to hope that you're going to get out one day. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to Religion Wing TV. Welcome to Religion Wing TV, where my spiritual ears stay. And guys, my ear is ringing for a young man who was sentenced to 241 years back somewhere around 1995 through till 1997. And how we get to him being as happy and, and ecstatic as I hope and pray that he is, is because the judge who did the sentencing had a change of heart. Now, back in 2018, I do believe I will link the video here. I covered a story on a young man who had committed a crime when he was 16 years old with a co-defendant. And there was people out delivering Christmas presents um, to a family in need. And basically, they jumped out on the gift bearers and started shooting to rob the people of the Christmas gifts. There were minor injuries that took place. No one lost their life, thank God. And after they shot up the people bringing the gifts to the family, they jumped in a woman's car, robbed her, and fled off. The two young men was captured and arrested. And upon sentencing, they were offered a 30-year deal. You serve 30 years in prison, we'll cut you loose. The cold defendant took the deal. But this young man, Bobby Bostick, he went to trial. And after going to trial, a young, beautiful, black-looking judge sat up there and sentenced the young man to 241 years in prison. That sentence is unheard of for a crime that Mr. Bostic and his co-defendant committed. Nonetheless, she got away with sentencing him to 241 years. And as I was coming home today from the doctors with my daughter, it flashed up on my uh, news break, news feed. Shout out the news break. That Bobby Bostic was being granted parole after serving all those years in prison and not having to serve the remainder 241 years, which we know that is impossible. But one article says that Mr. Bobby was having to give up at least 112 years. And we know, according to God, a man's life, his expected life, is 120 years. So was he robbed of a was he robbed of his life? Was he robbed of his life? Now, Bobby Bostic, 42, who was sentenced to 241 years as a teen, granted parole after judge changes her stance. Now, this judge, and I'll name her in a moment, and the defendant as well, the judge went through some extensive brain training of youth, I believe. Not necessarily she went through it herself. She probably needed her brain checked out after sentencing this young man to 241 years. It was on her man when I heard this story, and like I said, my channel is about God, but this is of God. This was wickedness. This was evil. So for her to change her stance, hopefully she repented, got right with the law of God instead of the law she laid down on this young man in the courtroom that day. You know what I'm saying? So he finally gets an opportunity, you all. To possibly enjoy a Christmas with his family. That's what I'm really excited about. So, a St. Louis man who was sentenced to a total of 241 years 
on 18 charges in 1997, but this crime happened in 95. For a robbery committed in 95, has been granted parole after the judge who sentenced him retired back in 2018 and advocated for a change in his stance. Instead of playing the devil's advocate all this time, up until she had a change of stance back in like 2018, because I remember her saying, you know, she, she, I can't re remember the quote or her, what exactly what she said, but she felt guilty and, you know, sorrowful then that she had sentenced him to this amount of time. And she's been working, laboring day and night to get the law changed. So kudos to her, right? No disrespect to her. And I will insert a picture of her here. But that stance, that change, I hope she repented unto God. So Bostic, Bostic, he was 16 in December of 1995 when he and Donald Huston, 18 at the time, robbed a group of people of Christmas presents being donated to a local family in need. Both men fired guns at the group causing minor injuries before stealing another woman's car and robbing her, prosecutors went on to say. Huston, he agreed to the deal to spend 30 years in prison, while Bostic, Bobby, decided to go to trial. And by right, I mean, if you even offering me 30 years, I might have shot at some people, Judge, I'm 16, I'm out here, might have been smoking weed, it was Christmas time, I saw those presents, my family was struggling, cut me some slack, I'll do 5, 10, you know, I'll even do a 30 years worth of community service, but I'm 16 for the love of God, and then baby jails weren't that popular like they are today, imprisoning our youth right well they do the crime there's a way for them to do the time without incarcerating them and the the prison is in the mind regardless of what age how many prisons they go out here and make so hopefully mr bostic mr huston and whoever houston huston however you want to say it h-u-s-t-o-n i hope they all are coming out being better people and having something to offer the community, especially the young black men, right? Who are still out here doing what they were doing in 1995, right? So by the time of his sentencing in 1997, Circuit Judge Evelyn Baker said she did not believe Bostic could be rehabilitated. But we just witnessed her being rehabilitated, right? And ruled that his 241-year sentence were to be served one after the other. So there was multiple sentences handed down to this young man. Served instead of consecutively, they are now being served one after the other. If Flaherty's 40-year sentence for robbery seems excessive, Consider Bobby Bostick. He was 16 in 1995 when he and a friend committed an armed robbery and a carjacking at Christmas time. Bostick's 38 firearm was real, and one of his victims was grazed by a bullet. Did you intend to hurt him? To no, kill him? No, if I intended to hurt or kill him, I'd have kept shooting. But I didn't intend to hurt him or shoot. He just, I was in my young mind. It's no excuse. When I look back, it's no excuse for what I did. But Bostick, a juvenile, never expected the judge to rule so harshly. I didn't even think I'd get 30. And how many years did you get? Uh, 241 years. Did you think he was irredeemable? Yes. At the time, Judge Evelyn Baker, now retired, felt the sentence was appropriate for Bostick. I didn't expect him to survive prison. I figured... With this behavior, she was going to wind up dead. But instead, when he had money, Bostick spent it on college classes. And the teen, who never read a book, wrote 15 behind bars. And he is held on to hope even when he watches those with murder convictions go home ahead of him. Got something to give to the world, so I got to act on 
that hope. I got to just keep going. Even when this appeal gets denied, I got to keep going because one day something happens. And remarkably, the person who most wants to see that happen. 241 years is, is insanity. When I think back on it, and I'll say right now, it's insanity. He was a kid. He was a little boy. But you're the one who sentenced him, Judge. Yes. It, as he evolved, I have evolved. I mean, is it fair to say that the case of Bobby Bostick has haunted you? That would be a very true statement. I don't want to go to my grave with Bobby incarcerated. What was going on in Judge Evelyn Baker? Was she getting a little wee-wee at home, y'all? Was she going through divorce herself? I'm going to have to go back to that video and re-watch it and see if there was anything going on with her at the time of her sentencing him. Because sometimes when people act irrational like this, y'all, oh, they going through something, baby. And they generally take it out on their criminals if you're in the court of law, patients if you're in the nursing industry, suspects if you're a police, you see, teacher, oh, the children, if you're a teacher, the pastor, if you're a church, church goer, right? The sentence meant Bostic wouldn't be eligible for parole until he was at least 112 years old. So I misspoke. I thought there was a sentencing of 112 years. Damn well, might as well be. Might as well be. If he can't see parole until then, hell, that's serving 112 years, baby. That's a life sentence right there. So Missouri's parole board granted parole to Bostic Monday, and he will be released next November, according to one of his key advocates, the American Civil Liberties Union of Missouri. Guys, I would like to get on board. Let this man out this year. Why y'all holding him? Anything can happen to this young man. People can know he's been paroled and now his story is out there. Men in prison get jealous. They can do something to prevent him from coming home. For the love of God, y'all, let's get this man out of prison tomorrow. Hell, Kyle Rittenhouse never went, and he killed somebody, baby. Let's keep it real, okay? He not guilty. But this man has been guilty. Come on, y'all. Let's get on board with this. I'll see what I can do. I'll make a few phone calls. I'll try to reach out to Judge Evelyn Baker. And Baker eventually retired from the bench in 2018 and wrote an essay in the Washington Post that said she regretted the sentence advocating for it to be thrown out so he could receive parole and finally we are here so whatever happened in her god i'm grateful for it but is it ever is it ever on time is it always is, is it right on time is it is, is is it the right time is it you know when is the right time you know like like is it is it long overdue long time waiting long time coming like Oh, man. She said the developments in medical studies of the brains of young people over the past 20 years gave her a new perspective into how crimes committed by young people don't always indicate future behaviors because their brains are still developing and are more likely to be rehabilitated. If your old brain at this age, your elder brain judge, because <laughs> I know you're a wise woman, right? No disrespect here, but if your elder brain could be rehabilitated, hell, if, if God or whatever rehabilitated you could rehabilitate other people as well. We don't give credit enough where credit is due. People make mistakes, y'all, just like this judge, just like Bobby, just like, what's his name? The old um, Donald Hudson, the co-defendant just like the criminal justice system itself overall people in prison people in our youth like myself who grow to be adults and we just try to eschew these things and make better decisions and defend ourselves along the way without people doing this stuff to us so bostic for a while 
basically, Bosco, uh, Baker said at the time she intended for Bosco to die in the Department of Corrections. I didn't expect him to survive prison. I got to say this here, y'all. Baker said that she wanted him to die in DOC. What was going on in this woman, y'all? So Bostic for a while found hope in a 2010 U.S. Supreme Court ruling that outlawed life sentences for people under 18 for non-homicide crimes. These laws have to change in America, y'all. The Supreme Court, however, declined to hear his case in 2019. That's just straight disrespect. At least hear my case. You not hearing my case is biased, judgmental, racist, prejudice, pre more prejudiced than racist and racist because this is abuse of power in the system. Everybody should have a right to be heard. If you have a right to bear arms and kill and do all this and put the guns in the community and let the kids get the guns at 16, hell, you have a right to let them be heard in court, damn it. Is part your reason and fault why they are in front of you, judge. Right? So, it parole board. It go, and I faced the parole board. Made it on the first time, by the grace of God. But my sentence was nowhere near like this, y'all. Who nowhere near? Although they try to get you. Because guess what? I was 19. One year older than Mr. Huston. Who's the co-defendant to the 16-year-old then, Bobby Bostick. Bostick. So, the Missouri Department of Corrections on Tuesday confirmed that Bostick is set to be released from prison next November 9th. I'll be damned. I pray he stay alive till then, y'all. I pray nothing happen. I speak life, protection, and guidance. I speak the word of God over him and make sure that it leads him out of there safely, hopefully before then, y'all. Until then, the department can offer Bostic a variety of programs, including job readiness classes and family reunification programs. He's been in there since 1997. He has been rehabilitating himself. I'm sure he took every damn program there is at the state offer inside the prison. I know I did when I was there. ASAP, all that. I mean, it's just there for the taking. Came straight out of prison, right, right enrolled into the local community college. So I know these people can do it if I did it. Stop judging how much punishment a person needs when you go overboard like this. Somebody could do something today and baby, by tonight, they so fearful and so, oh man, I'm not going to do that again and, and shook a little bit. Tomorrow when they wake up, oh, they'll never do that again. And sometimes that's all people need. This was ridiculous. So, Podgeman said we can connect him to various reentry programs to help ensure he's he's a success in society. <laughs> well, you need to plug the judge in. <laughs> you need to plug the court system in, okay? I'm sure this man, and by the grace of God, I hope he come out and do the right thing, y'all. But, baby, we need to plug the plugger into the plug because they unplugged a little bit, y'all. I'm sorry. So, Lord, help us. Yes, Lord, help us. <laughs> These kind of sentences for black folks are not unusual. If they had been young white guys, they would have been given probation even if someone was killed. And I just mentioned Kyle Rittenhouse. Sometimes they don't even get probation. They get off Scott freaking free if that was the verdict in Kyle. I heard it was not guilty to some effect. But uh, let's see. L. Del Bell says, wow, did I read this correctly? 
241 years on 18 charges in 1997 for a robbery committed in 1995? This judge's sentence sounds vindictive and abusive. Glad Bostick is getting a second chance and hope that he uses it wisely. And God says, I will make your enemy your footstool and prepare a table in front of them. And also says, I will use your enemy to bless you. And it seems like if she was vindictive and abusive and just throwing her weight around at the bench at that time, now the enemy is setting the captive free, baby. And when America line up and begin to let the enemy set you free here in America, oh, baby, I'm trying to tell you, this is a win. But we still got a long way to go, y'all. And so don't buy a stick because anything can happen between now and next November. When I saw this, I got so excited I had to pull over on the road. And when I'm searching for it, you know, it disappears sometimes in the news feed, whichever news feed you have. So I ran home and I Googled new news break Bostic and it came up. So I am so glad. But again, we got a long way to go, people. Absurd, absurd, absurd. Unjust punishment. You don't get that much time for five murders. Should give that judge or jury 25 years to life for that sentence. And I'm trying to tell you, somebody needs to be on trial here besides these two young men. 241 years is overkill, roadkill, savagely unnecessarily and i'm gonna read these last two comments here from cheryl mclaughlin 241 years is overkill yes it was a violent robbery not multiple murders at 16 he was an un an unguided and cared for child right we throw him away too quick and we talk about they are our future <laughs> baby it's been an agenda against the children from the days of the Hebrew male children. Under two, baby. Now it's under 112 because that's how long he would have sat in prison, baby, if they didn't overturn this judgment right here, right? This wicked, evil sentence. So all you ass whites, <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> Ah, and I hope you ass wipes go from the front to the back, baby, okay? Yeah, and a good thing he was locked up all this time. Think about the carnage he would have had caused. Most of those eights are bad news. Oh, ass wipe, you about to get your ass whooped. <laughs> baby, they coming for you in the comments over here. And I'm going to go ahead and end it on that. What do you think about Ass White's comment? Again, there's so much hatred and judgment in this world against human beings, just like the people who are doing the judging. It's ridiculous. This man is probably a better person than Ass White's right here. This man is probably a better person than hell. I tell most people, I'm the one been to prison. Y'all never been to prison, but for some, by the grace of God... <laughs> I'm living better than most of y'all. And don't be fooled by people having materialistic things that they're doing better than people. And don't be fooled by people having wisdom and comfortableness in, in, in the desires of our heart, I must say, to the point where we, 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 we ain't blessed or, or, or we ain't got it going on. Knock it off. <laughs> All you ass wipes, go on over there to Newsbreak and get in the comments and tell ass wipes. We said we hear him, okay? We hear you, ass wipes. And name gonna be ass whoops by the time they get done with you. Anyway, my boy Bobby Bostics, 42, sentenced to 241 years as a teen, is granted parole due to be released November 9th of next year. This report was done 17 hours ago, so I wish and hope it could be before Christmas. For the love of God, open up the gates. 
crooked Paul over there doing Christians wrong. They, they said the spirit just opened the gates and freed them, huh? It's open the gates. If it could work for some people, damn it, make it work for everybody. And stop doing it for one and you ain't going to do for the other. Let this man out of damn jail immediately. And this article was written by Aaron McDade. New York City, New York. Newsbreak is the fee. And your boy, Bostic, finally sees some light in the tunnel. And hopefully he can make it out before November 9th in this modern day plantation of a prison. Hopefully the people he's around and he has built up a rapport and built up some kind of, you know, uh, uh, Teflon and respect in prison that the people he is doing his last year with honor the fact that this man deserves to get out and no demon devil or anybody rise up in any of them other inmates and try to do this man injustice to keep him in there. I told you, I come from both sides of the fence. I know how it go and get down out here in this world. So let's pray for this man. Even, like I said, I'll reach out to Judge Evelyn Baker at this point in time, and I will see if she can do something because it was the enemy who even got him to be looking at parole. <laughs> yes, the God will use your enemy to bless you, right? So this is a blessing for him. But now maybe she can use her, do we call it abusive power now, or her change power? Her change power. She had a change of stance, right? Her change power to get him out before Christmas or the end of the year, way before November 9th of 2022. And with that being said, y'all, Shalom, God bless you. Let me know what you think down below about this whole conversation of Mr. Bostics being free uh, mentally. I know he's got to be freed a little bit, but physically he's still behind bars. And, and, and it's important we get him out before November 9th. If you agree, have any way of helping, got any numbers or phone numbers, if you're in the Missouri area, um, and definitely can shoot me numbers. I'll do my research. On, I'm in St. Louis. Excuse me, St. Louis. St. Lou, the St. Louis, in the St. Louis area. Please, 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 by all means, reach out to me in the comments and let me know. And like I said, I'd be willing to follow this case. And I feel a little, a little shameful because I should have stayed on this when I first heard about it because it touched me so. And I'm going to pull that video up, link it to this video, and then you guys can hear my opinion about both videos and the whole story entirely. And with that being said, shalom, everybody. Have a great day. And I'll see you on the next live upload and or premiere. You're watching Religion Link TV. Bobby has so much that he can give to this world. Do you think that someday Bobby Vosick will be walking out the 100%, same door as 100%. you did? I think, I think next year. Well, there is hope for Bobby Vosick. There is a new bill sitting on Missouri Governor Parsons' desk waiting for a signature, which will give Vosick and others who were sentences, sentenced as juveniles the ability to petition the parole board for a hearing. But that is no guarantee that Vosick will be released. He is a lot closer. I do want to point out, under this very complicated formula, mm -hmm. if the governor does not sign that bill, yeah. Bostic is eligible for parole, wait for it, when he's 112 years old. I know, Aaron, you hear that story, and you, do, you have to wonder why he is not out today. Yes. That somebody looking at this story hopefully will step in. This makes no sense to me. Well, this is why the judge is speaking out. Um, she actually even helped him petition the Supreme Court in 2017. Is there more she can or should do? No, it's very interesting. I yeah. think people are surprised to hear that judges can't do a do-over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And You'd so, think the judge could say, I made a mistake, I'm changing this ruling. But she is coming out. She's even visited him in prison wow. and she feels very strongly these guys are forgotten yes. which is why I we just do wonder these how stories. she came up with the 241 years in the first place well there were 17 counts mm. and then he was you know convicted of all and then she made
made them consecutive. Right. And that's why it's but so... But the judge has discretion in those said, cases. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a kid. You can believe in justice and not yes. want to throw away a child, a 16-year-old. Yeah. But he didn't life. look like he had remorse. That's what she thought yeah. at the she time. Thought, what well, you she, heard her say she thought he was going to die in prison. Exactly. But as she says, as he has evolved, I have evolved. Well, I'm glad she said that, but yeah. Bobby needs to be out today. Thank you, Aaron. Religion Wing TV, where my spiritual ears stay. All right, thank you, Gail King. I will take it from here. And this is about the first time I had agreed with you on anything, young lady. Free the man today. Now, if a judge sentenced you to 241 years and is still living, does that judge have the right to reverse? the sentence how does that work anybody know put it down below in the comments all right and i'll do my research on this and and see if that's possible now as far as the 241 years go in ratio to the 18 charges it would be about 13.34 years per charge that that's ridiculous that's ridiculous and some of the charges probably weren't all felonies you know so added 18 of them so that's how that um lines up for the 241 years 13.34 years per charge and with that being said you all let me know what's going on in your heads about this whole situation let me know if you think he's going to get out before November 9th of next year. Let me know if you support him getting out and why. Talk to me down in the comments down below. And with that being said, shalom, everybody. God bless you and have a great day. I think Bobby has so much that he can give to this world. Jesus.